How's it going guys, Ultra Scythe here, and I'm going to be showing you how to add your live sub account to your stream or OBS. I use OBS, I may do this tutorial later with like XSplit or something, but for now I'm going to use OBS because I love OBS and OBS is great. You're mostly going to want to use this for uh, streams and not uh, actual videos, so you're going to make want to make sure this is this eyeball is hidden after you do that for if you're going to record videos. But you're going to need the CLR browser plugin, which will come up as browser source right here. You can get it from the OBS project. And you're also going to need OBS. So we're going to open this. We're going to title it live sub count or something. So live sub count. There we go. Now you're going to want to enter the URL of your ch channel or the live uh, sub count website you're going from. I'm using livecounts.net. And you're also going to want this. Whatever, it may be a bunch of numbers. It's whatever is after the last forwards last on your actual public channel page. Uh, I have a custom channel name, so mine's just Ultrasaw, but you may have, like, haven't done a custom channel name, so maybe a bunch of random dashes, numbers, and letters, or whatever. So you may have to see it as that. So whatever it is for you, that's what you're going to have to do. So now let's get right into hitting OK. And it'll come up here as your live subscriber count. So hopefully you can see that. So after it's come up as our live subscriber count, we're going to want to go into filters and add a crop so you don't see everything in the background. If you had the same settings as me when we actually added it, the left should be 300. The top should be 200. The right should be 300, the same as the left, and the bottom should be 280. And so now we have a nice little crop on this over here, our live subscriber count. That it looks pretty nice, as you can see. You can put this in the corner, bottom corner, whatever. I like it in the top left corner, and many other people do like it right there. But also, if you do not like this blue right here, I'm going to be showing you right now how to get rid of this. It's a little bit more complicated. If you do not want to do that, you can just end it right here. And this is all you need for your live sub count since it's pulling it from the live internet. And you do not have to have an extra window open and an extra monitor to get it live. So now let's go on to add another filter. Uh, you could probably do this with chroma key, but I prefer color key right here. And you're going to do a custom color. And you're going to click select color, pick screen color, and right here, you're going to want to add a color. Uh, and you're going to select whatever this blue is. So hit OK after you do that. And make sure your similarity is up to the fullest so it's catching everything. Now that your similarity is up to the fullest one right there. You're going to want to hit close and now you can actually see it right here. Now you have gotten rid of all this blue background and it looks pretty nice. So this is how you put your live subscriber count on your screen. Please like and subscribe. Peace.